On Thursday, September 28th, 19 individuals graduated from PMC's Eastern Kentucky Rural EMS Training Program. The 10-month-long course was made available for these students at no cost thanks to a large grant from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Even those who aren't first responders now have the knowledge and certification to assist in a medical emergency. 36 people that went through this program, so, you know, the ones that were that graduated and, and were successful taking the uh, National Registry exam, that puts that many more people out in our community if they never step foot in an ambulance. That's people in our community that now have the knowledge and because of the funding that goes with this, we'll have the equipment or at least part of the equipment to initiate care even if they're in the farthest reaches of Pike County, they can initiate care and help sustain life until EMS does arrive to transport them, which you know is invaluable. It's the golden hour, especially in a trauma, in CPR, in stroke. Anything that these people do will put the patient at odds of having a better outcome once they get to where they're going. At Appalachian Wireless, we have the best service and the best deals right now. Save up to $500 on iPhone 13s and 14s, all models, all gigabytes with trade-in. Maybe go for an iPhone 12 for a penny. A penny with a two-year contract. We're not leaving out Samsung. Save up to $350 on select Samsung devices, including the S23. It's a win-win this month at Appalachian Wireless. The service, the savings. Y'all got to jump on this deal right now. At Appalachian Wireless, we get you because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, the program itself focuses on basic life support and emergency medicine skills. Each of the graduates had to attend 400 hours of training courses in order to receive their certification. I've always wanted to work with the public and, you know, help others, whether it's student athletes, the community. Um, I've even had some professors and some staff members, such as coaches, reach out and just ask for advice or, you know, we wear different hats as athletic trainers, so this is just another hat that I can add to myself to help my, you know, my faculty, my staff, my U Pike family and just the community in a whole, whether you know at Walmart or at a gas station, anything like that, anytime they would need me. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.